Hello critters! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Anyone on Tumblr will have seen this by now, but to be fair, a lot of people probably don't even know Tumblr's still a running website. But also everyone and their mother has talked about this. It's been all over. People comparing it to Fire Festival, even DashCon. And TBH, there's not too many differences. Major news outlets are even picking up on it because it's just, like, really funny to be honest. It's a tale of embarrassing advertisement using AI, a dusty warehouse in Glasgow, and my new favorite Wonkaverse character, The Unknown. So let's get into it. Okay, so there's so much to talk about because it's a whole trash fire, but oh my god. So yeah, we're talking about the Willy Wonka experience in Glasgow. So basically this company called House of Illuminati were running this event in Glasgow about Willy Wonka and advertised it as this like great interactive experience. And it was 35 pounds, like it cost 35 pounds to get in per person, or about 45 dollars in US dollars for admission. And I, I cannot stress how big of a difference there was between advertising and the actual. So I'm going to show the advertisements first, which are made by AI. Like, <laughs> they're just made by AI. So false advertising much, but I mean, we'll, we'll get into that, okay. So I'm mainly going to be looking at the website right away for these advertisements, because they're all on there in the experience tab, so we're gonna take a quick look at those. And first of all, I didn't even notice, but the word chocolate is spelled wrong on the on the top tab, which is pretty funny, but yeah, getting into it, you can see immediately that the first image is AI generated. Like, you, you can just tell, by the way, that some of these lollipops look a little wonky, because like, who in their right mind would draw it like that? And it just looks bad all together. <laughs> Not to mention this white text is like really hard to read where it says indulge in a chocolate fantasy like never before capture the enchantment TM Tickets to Willie's chocolate experience TM are on sale now And I I don't know why but I highly doubt that they trademarked the enchantment and Willie's chocolate experience Maybe without an apostrophe. Maybe that's like a thing that they did to be able to trademark. I don't know But yeah, it's it's a thing so let me take you on a magical journey through this godforsaken website. First of all, we start at the Enchanted Garden, which there's a rabbit made out of teeth. <laughs> yeah, this image is just a whole mess, but it's pretty funny. You just you can tell it's AI because like who in their right mind would ever draw something like this intentionally? Especially just like all the weird little details. But anyways, the description is pretty funny because at the end it says, who knows, perhaps you might be able to grow your very own enchanting garden. Which, like, yeah, who knows, like, you're not gonna be able to, because <laughs> the experience didn't have anything like that, but yeah. Moving on. Next part it says, Imagination Lab trademarked. And we have the trademark again, we didn't have a trademark for Enchanted Garden for some reason, but I guess Imagination Lab is important enough, so... <laughs> so, yeah, this, this, this image is also, of course, AI-generated, it says, Imagination Lab? This is the first of our silly, silly typos made by the AI, and it's like, does this have anything to do with Willy Wonka? <laughs> and next we have the Twilight Tunnel, also trademarked, <laughs> which I don't think anyone's taken that name. I don't, again, I don't know what the rhyme or reason between the trademarked bits is, but here we have, this image starts to get a little egregious because why, why is there like random color palettes at the bottom? I, and at first glance, these kind of look like words, but let's take a look and kind of read out some of these. We have lightning, dim dickly, dim tight, twiddording, diffractions, dojection. At least, at least those are almost words. Vivu sounds, energemic sounds. So, so you get both vivu and energemic in the Twilight Tunnel, and <laughs> ungrievel and speed, and pretty and ooks. Twits. <laughs> that's the name of these color palettes. Let's let's just call them that. That's that's a pretty funny. I don't know why they have that at the bottom of the image. Like what prompt was used for that? But yeah. And finally, we have this isn't even a part. It just says captivating entertainment. And what's what's funny here is that it says it features charming characters singing original catchy tunes, which like there was none of that. <laughs> there was no singing in the Waka experience, from what I've heard. But 
This this image, let's get into it a little bit more too, because this is also the other really egregious image. First of all, this bear has like a strange appendage growing out of his face, which is a little terrifying. And these 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 words live in my head rent free. They've been living in my head rent free since I've seen this image. You have catgacating live performances. That's that how did I don't know how the hell that was able to get through. Then we have Karchi tongues. <laughs> Exarcer Dre lollipops and comma a paradise of sweet teats. So <laughs> there you have it. That's what you could expect from the Wonka experience. And yeah, this is entertaining entertainment at the top. And again, I am flabbergasted that they're able to spell entertainment after Karchi Tons because I don't know what the heck Karchi Tons even means. But yeah. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that most, if not all, of these captions are AI generated, probably by ChatGPT. And I just want to look at the FAQs like real quick because those are also really funny because they're also ChatGPT very obviously because they make literally no sense. Like this company slash guy, I don't know if it's even a company more than just a single guy, couldn't take the time to just type out answers to these teeny tiny questions. <laughs> but the first question says, what can I expect from Willie's chocolate experience? And it, it, it says that there's themed rooms like the Enchanted Garden and the Vision Room, which isn't something, and Lemonade Gallery, each offering unique and delightful surprises. Like, you couldn't even keep continuity between the bits that were in the experience tab in this. Like, what what is a Lemonade Gallery? What is, what is a Vision Room? And it also says the I cannot go on unavailable days twice. Like, that question is listed twice, and it... <laughs> It says, should there be capacity when you arrive, then you will be able to enter without any problems. In the event that this is not the case, we may ask you to wait a bit. Like, that doesn't answer the question. Oh my god, I, I can't. And also, the, the last question that I want to look at is pretty funny, because it says the safety measures against the big C. And it says that you get fever credit and flexible rescheduling if the event is postponed. i like, what is fever credit? You get, like, money based on how high your fever is? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. And something that I actually hadn't noticed until now is at the very bottom of the page, it says, Any resemblance to any character, fictitious or living, is purely coincidental. This experience is no way related to the Wonka franchise, which is owned by the Warner Bros. company. And I was like, really? But I realized that it's just called Willy's Chocolate Experience, not Willy Wonka's Chocolate Experience, and we've all kind of just been adding that, which is pretty funny, because, like, it's obviously Willy Wonka, like, those Oompa Loompas and shit, but, like, they really pulled a fast one on the whole copyright thing. So then the Day of Reckoning came, February 24th. Well, it was supposed to run to the 25th, but it was not renewed for a second day, to say the least. And, yeah, when people arrived, it was, it was, it was just bad. It was just a dusty warehouse with a few, like, props placed in different places to say the least there there was no pastadice of sweet teats there was no exarcer dre lollipops but perhaps there were some karchi tons whatever that may mean so there were also a few actors there that we're gonna get into a bit and i feel for them everyone feels for them everyone who was there felt for them it seems i was looking at one of the amas done by the willy wonka actor saying that for the most part, people felt for them, and no one was really outwardly rude for them, knowing that they weren't the cause of how bad it was, but yeah. The Willy Wonka actor explained that the night before, when they had their one rehearsal, they were given a 12-page script that was absolutely AI-generated nonsense that <laughs> he didn't really even use. Like, he, he went by the script, but apparently he just kind of ad-libbed some of it at some point because it's like, it was incomprehensible, and he was really trying his best. But it was basically some kind of plot line following where Willy Wonka had to stop this creature called the Unknown that <laughs> was AI generated from nothing, just complete nonsense. This creature called the Unknown introduced to the Wonkaverse that was trying to steal his anti-graffiti gobstopper. I can't even say that. Oh my god. So apparently the Unknown just wanted to do some graffiti, you know, as one does, an artist like all of us. But... Willy Wonka said, can't do that, and he was supposed to vacuum him up with a vacuum cleaner at the end, according to the script, but when the actor asked about a vacuum cleaner, he was told to just figure it out, so like, 
he just kind of had to again ad lib that at the end there. And back to the unknown, what, <laughs> what was pretty funny is that like the kids were kind of freaking scared of it. Like in this one video, I'll show it now. What is that? It's the unknown. No. They, you can hear the children start crying once he comes out, and it's like, <laughs> oh no. But I mean, it's like, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be, even if he's like a ghost. I think he's supposed to be a ghost that lives in the factory, who is also a chocolate maker, so like, got some lore there, but like... <laughs> this is so out of place, but also incredibly hilarious, and Tumblr has kind of sexy manified him, which I'm... Which I, I think is like, really funny, so... Also, people pointing out that since he was created by AI, that technically makes him a public domain character, so people are kind of running with that, which is which is also pretty funny. But yeah, and in terms of other actors, there was also this Oompa Loompa girl that some viral picture is going around about, and I honestly feel so bad for her because there was not sweet teats for the children. Each children was given one jelly bean and like a quarter cup full of cheap lemonade, and originally the Oompa Loompa girl was giving out three jelly beans per kid but was told to ration it down to one and there's some pictures of this where she is trying her freaking best to smile and try and make these kids excited about giving them a single jelly bean and I'm like that sounds like the biggest nightmare ever for her and it's like I can't even imagine that I would just be absolutely terrible trying to make these kids happy with a single jelly bean and being like I don't I don't even know what to say about that. So yeah, the cops were called. <laughs> the cops were called about how much of a scam this experience was as people were demanding refunds and it was it was just a whole mess and it eventually shut down about halfway through that first day because like it just didn't make any sense and everyone was upset. Everyone. It was it was just bad, so people were trying to find answers for what happened. There's a Facebook group actually about people who went and trying to find like how to get refunds from the guy because as far as I know no one's gotten refunds yet and even on the website it says that tickets are non-refundable which like he knew it's it's obviously a scam like people are saying oh he he had too much of a vision but like I mean that's what he said too in his apology he's like I'm just sad that it didn't come to my vision but it's like no 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 you can't use ai and advertise this amazing thing and charge 45 dollars for it and make your tickets non-refundable and just expect to run away with all the money you know like there's obviously a disconnect there you know and speaking of that the actors have also not been paid yet as far as i know which i'm, I'm hoping that there's some compensation for them if they're able to use their platforms to kind of rekindle that lost time and just absolute terrible experience for them. Because <laughs> I, I've seen that they, I think both the Willy Wonka actor and the Oompa Loompa actress have come out on TikTok and I'm hoping that they are gaining some sort of following and ha are benefiting somewhat from this disaster, but yeah. I'm hoping that at least some good comes out of it, again, be it a following for those, those actors that really deserve some compensation for what they went through, and of course refunds for the people who all went, which I don't know if we'll be seeing that, but I'm hoping also, like, not to be a total optimist, because I mean, I'm very cynical about the future of AI. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I try not to be, and I'm trying to be a little optimistic about this, and I'm hoping that there is some type of looking into the legality of using AI images to advertise for something, because, like, it's just, it's just false advertising, as I said before. It's false advertising, and it's so easy to make. And obviously these images aren't even that good, but I, I, like, I think he was using DALI, which is like the old AI thing. He, if he used the newer AI generators, then like, he could have made some images that were way more realistic looking. Like, AI has advanced so much in the past year, it's like so scary. You can make such realistic looking things, and I think that, in terms of false advertising, is so scary when it comes to companies that don't have the best interests of people in mind. So, <laughs> I'm hoping that there might be some backlash against AI advertisements with this, and people start to realize that, hey, this might be an issue that we should kind of look into a little more so people aren't getting scammed constantly, but yeah, I mean, again, that's just me being optimistic. We keep saying that, like, each AI disaster happening is going to try and cause some legislation that'll help reduce the amount of AI bullshittery, but like, I I don't know if that'll happen though, so. Yeah, I guess we'll see where the situation goes, hoping people get refunds, etc. I mean, that's about it though. I It's a, it's a 
pretty wild tale, and again, people are comparing it to it. It especially looks like Dashcon when you see the images of it versus the famous ball pit of Dashcon, so yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Make sure to leave a comment, subscribe, like if you like the video, and if you have any video topics that you would like to see me talk about, please leave a comment because I never know what the heck to talk about. I want to start getting into more commentary videos like this again, like I had done before, but I also love doing art videos, but I'll try and find a healthy balance in the future, so <laughs> maybe you'll see more commentary, maybe you'll see more art videos soon, maybe both. I'm hoping both, but yeah, that's about it. I'll see y'all critters in the next video, so um, bye.